Across Chicago, nine people were killed between Friday and Sunday, and two more were gunned down just hours ago, a murder rate of two a day. This is like Beirut was in the 70s. Uh, it's war. That's why we got to keep doing it. Right. Pastor Robin Hood lives in Chicago's North Lawndale neighborhood, where three of the victims were killed. People are scared to come out of the doors. They're scared for their kids to sit on the porches and play in the playgrounds. There's total fear. Most of the violent crime in the city gang related? Yes. Chicago Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy says the problem has a lot to do with drugs, guns, and gang wars. One of the most violent disputes that we have that we're trying to get a, a handle on in the city is an internal dispute in, in one of our gangs. It's the largest gang in the city. They have an internal dispute where they're we're fighting and shooting at each other. Chicago has the largest gang population in the country with approximately 100,000 members who commit 75 to 80 percent of the city's homicides. We're looking for ways to get the goal is zero. <laughs> zero murders, zero shootings. The violence increasingly claims innocent bystanders like the pregnant 17-year-old girl wounded by a stray bullet through her living room window on Saturday. Chicago's police force of 12,000 officers has a lot of ground to cover, something McCarthy hopes the public understands. Do you say that, hold on, the cavalry is coming, or is there anything you can tell them? Um, I tell her I'm sorry that that condition exists, and I feel responsible for it. The police here are targeting high crime areas for more frequent patrols, and a new law signed yesterday by Illinois' governor holds gang leaders responsible for the crimes of their organizations. I think that we can change the culture of these gangs, um, at least that's something that we're trying to do, while at the same time doing the law enforcement. Now, McCarthy says the data don't always show it, but the police are making progress with increasing undercover operations and greater infiltrations of the gangs themselves, Scott, as well as a crackdown on the narcotics traffic, which is the fuel that keeps them going. Dean, thank you.